Ever wonder which wrench is which? Is that an open end, a box end, a combo? Why is the adjustable wrench called a crescent? What is a monkey wrench? And why is there an Allen wrench and why is it even called a wrench? These questions are normal in the hardware store, but when it comes to men's fashions and what designers call items, that can be just as confusing. One wrench does not fit all, neither do men's jackets. Choose the best leather you can afford. Do not expect long wear and durability from poor quality, faux or even fake leather. In a nutshell, cow leather is still good quality leather and jackets made from a tan cow last a long time. Goat leather is tough. It makes great jackets. The softest of all is lambskin. It feels a bit more luxurious and may look broken in and worn even when it's new. Make sure you know what kind of leather you're purchasing. Leather like and the word genuine may be tossed in the description without anything there to back it up. Here's how Buffalo Jackson breaks it down. Leather racer, sometimes called a moto jacket or a cafe racer jacket. My generation called these biker jackets. They were tough, quality soft leather, front zip pockets, zipped up the front, side pockets with a snap over collar. This is the leather aviator jacket, sometimes called a bomber jacket or flight jacket. This jacket was originally designed for pilots who needed to stay warm in high altitudes. The classic aviator jacket details include a relaxed fit, stand up collar, zip up the front, side front pockets. This is the leather trucker jacket, styled like early denim jackets, waist length cut, button front closure, buttons on the sleeve cuffs, front chest pockets, and the trademark vertical or slanted seams. We think this leather bomber jacket beats the denim one in durability every time, also in comfort and style. Buffalo Jackson stands on their word to tell you exactly what every one of their jackets is made from and how to care for it. Comment below and tell us what you're looking for. Honor your wild.